to this meeting will not negatively affect uh, our work with um, Secretary Kerry. We would like you to have an objective understanding of what we are doing, but uh, I also you should also understand we need to do a lot of serious work before we can tell you what we're doing. This work is about the agreement that's been reached to dissolve once and for all the issue of chemical weapons in Syria. The, uh, the convention of, uh, that prohibits the use of uh, chemical weapons. These documents have been uh, submitted to Damascus uh, to the uh, appropriate institutions and together with experts that have all the necessary experience how we should act further not to extend this process unnecessarily and to follow all the rules that has been worked out by the organization to prohibit chemical weapons. We uh, follow from the principle that the solution of this problem makes any strike uh, against uh, Syria and uh, I'm certain that uh, President Obama are strongly preferring a peaceful way to uh, resolve the issue of chemical weapons in Syria. The second uh, thing I would like to tell you is that we, uh, with Senator Kerry, uh, with, sorry, Secretary Kerry, we are trying to create conditions to call for Geneva II meeting to take this uh, current situation from the uh, military conference station stage to stop the terrorist threat that we're seeing in Syria and uh, to call a conference where Sy when Syrian sides based on a UN communique uh, adopted last year would agree on a joint authority that would have all the administrative um, functions in Syria. This is our common goal and I'm hoping that uh, the meeting today and tomorrow and all our efforts will be um, uh, targeted toward reaching this goal. Well, thank you very much, Prime Minister Lavrov. Uh, my privilege to be here with our delegation. And I want to thank you and your delegation on behalf of all the people who hope that diplomacy can avoid uh, military action. And we thank you for coming quickly uh, to Geneva in order to have this important conversation that we will engage in. Over one year ago, uh, President Obama and President Putin directed high-level experts in our governments, both of our governments, to work together to prepare contingencies uh, involving serious chemical weapons. Foreign Minister Lavrov and I <clears throat> have been in regular contact uh, about this issue uh, since my visit to Moscow earlier this year. And as Foreign Minister Lavrov said to me in a phone conversation uh, after St. Petersburg and the meetings there, President Putin and President Obama <clears throat> thought it would be worthwhile for us uh, to work together to determine if there is life in this concept. Uh, this challenge obviously took on grave urgency on August 21st when the Syrian regime used chemical weapons in a massive and indiscriminate way against its own citizens. President Obama and dozens of our partners believe that that action is unacceptable and we have in no uncertain terms made it clear that we cannot allow that to happen again. In light of what has happened, the world wonders and watches closely whether or not the Assad regime will live up to its public commitments that it has made to give up their chemical weapons and whether two of the world's most powerful nations can together take a critical step forward in order to 
hold the regime to its stated promises. I have uh, seen reports that the Syrian regime has suggested that as part of the standard process, they ought to have 30 days to submit data on their technical, uh, on their chemical weapons stockpile. We believe there is nothing standard about this process at this moment because of the way the regime has behaved, because the not only the existence of these weapons, but they have been used. And the words of the Syrian regime, in our judgment, are simply not enough, which is why we've come here, in order to work with uh, the Russians uh, and work with uh, Sergei Lavrov and his delegation here in order to make certain that this can, in fact, be achieved. The United States and Russia have had and continue to have our share of disagreements about uh, the situation in Syria, including a difference as to the judgment we just offered with respect to who may have done that. But what's important as we come here is that there's much that we agree on. We agree that on August 21st, Syrian men, women, and children died grotesque deaths due to chemical weapons. We agree that no one anywhere at any time should employ chemical weapons. And we agree that our joining together with the international community to eliminate stockpiles of these weapons in Syria would be an historic moment for the multilateral non-proliferation efforts. We agree on those things. We agree that it would help to save lives if we can accomplish this, that it would reduce the threat to the region, that it would uphold the norm